from the pages of MikeHuckabee.com, home of the famous Huckabee newsletter, which is free of charge, and it's also free of wokeness, let's take another look back at the week that was. Well, in one of the more egregious examples of Trump derangement syndrome and the intolerant left this week, a high school social studies teacher and baseball coach in Michigan was fired for his outrageous belief that Donald Trump is the president and for having the temerity to tweet that indisputable fact Wallet Lake High School gave him a choice of resigning or being fired. Now even parents and students who oppose Trump are upset. They say Justin Cacera never brought politics into his classes and he was an extremely popular and well-liked teacher. But he failed to observe the cardinal rule of demonizing the president who, last time I checked, is still the president, regardless of what this taxpayer-funded indoctrination camp would have you believe. Taxpayers might be funding a nice lawsuit settlement next. And since Black Lives Matter has hijacked legitimate protests over George Floyd's death, it seems that turnabout's fair play. A pro-life activist in Salt Lake City painted a Baby Lives Matter mural outside the local Planned Parenthood abortion clinic. Naturally, leftists, like a former aide to Elizabeth Warren, are claiming this somehow shows President Trump, of course, had nothing to do with this. Somehow, that makes him a racist, because co-opting the phrase Black Lives Matter to oppose abortion really means white babies' lives matter. That may be the dumbest thing I've heard since Elizabeth Warren told us she was a Native American. And finally, because everything is about racial pandering these days, the Associated Press has a new policy. I'm not making this up. It actually does seem racist. You see, AP announced that it will now capitalize the word black when it refers to black people, but not white if referring to white people. Now, not only is that bad spelling, it's actually racist against white people and black people. Just as Irish, German, English, or Australian white people have distinct cultures, cuisines, languages, art forms, and religions, this AP policy assumes black people, whether they're from Jamaica, Nigeria, or New Orleans, are somehow all alike, just be lumped into a common culture. Once again, the wokest among us sound virtually undistinguishable from the rantings of a Klansman back in 1954. Well, from the Twitterverse, where you can follow me, at GovMikeHuckabee, comes these moments of madness. From the Are You Kidding file, Governor Cuomo has banned half of the U.S. from coming to New York. Well, who wants to go where you get sent to a nursing home to die or the streets to get murdered? Cuomo shouldn't worry about keeping people out. He's got to figure out how to keep people in New York before they all get the heck out. And there's good news for sports fans, as I feel like we've found an answer for D.C.'s NFL team name. The Washington Redskins should be renamed the Washington Russets. That way they can play mashed, fried, boiled, or hash brown, but mostly they'll just play baked. And we've been pointing out lately that the leftist wokesters have embraced segregation, racial condescension, judging and condemning people purely by their skin color. It's become so obvious that a couple of very brave comedians made a hilarious music video lampooning it. Take a look. White people need to stop wearing dreadlocks and they need to stop appropriating black people's music. Shaved heads and country music, the way God intended. You know all white people are racist. I'm listening. Even if you have a black wife or a black friend group, you're still really racist. You know he just kicked a guy out of the organization for having a black girlfriend, but if you can promise me he's still really racist, we'll consider letting him back in. Black, black people should only shop at black businesses. businesses. I guess the only thing we really disagree about is I think white people are the root of all evil. But what did I tell you though, if we can narrow that down to a certain group of tiny hatted white people, I think we can come to an understanding. Technically, I don't consider Jewish people white Neither do I. You can find more of Ryan Long's comic takes on the culture at YouTube at Ryan Long Comedy. And during this time of vandalism and tearing down statues on our streets, a salute to William Penn for still standing strong atop City Hall in Philadelphia. Well, before we conclude, I want to share a quote from the French writer Voltaire, who once said, 
Those who can make you believe absurdities can make you commit atrocities. Nearly 350 years later, when you consider what's happening in our city streets and local city halls, it makes his words seem like a prophecy. May wiser times and a return to love and respect wash over the ugliness of the times. Until next time, these have been the facts of the matter. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, then subscribe, and hit the notification bell below. Now, if you didn't like it, you ought to find a Ben Shapiro video to detox you with more facts.